Your relationship with food is leaving you heartbroken. You do great for the first half of the day. You start off strong. You're so ambitious. You're ready for the day. You do great at work. Maybe you crush that meat. But then you're getting tired around 2 to 4 p.m., right? And who's there for you every time? It's that fucking donut. What this does, in time, it may seem like one small thing. You keep going back. You're like, just a little bit. Maybe just half. Maybe time, just one fourth. It's still going to do that damage. Donuts have the most amount of fat out of like any kind of fast food you want to say. Go to MyFitnessPal, type in one Krispy Kreme donut. One Krispy Kreme donut. Look at the amount of fat that's in that, hydrogenated fat. Check that out and think about, so when you're adding up calories, you guys may not know this, there's a multiplication factor. So say there's 10 grams of carbohydrates, you want to multiply that by four to get the amount of calories per gram. That's going to be 40 calories from 10 grams of carbs. Same with protein, you multiply that by four. But when it comes to fat, the multiplication factor is nine. So if there's 10 grams of saturated fat, which is the bad fat, right? It stacks up perfectly. When I was learning about this in school, my professor said, think about a box of matches, right? Think about how perfectly they, they match up. And what happens is you can't break them apart. They're so, they're so kind of locked into place. Unsaturated fat, it's kind of like if you were to drop matches on the ground, right? It's easy to break apart and use for fuel. That's like avocados, right? But back to this. So if there's 10 grams of saturated fat, that is 90 calories. That's why I say for my clients, track your calories for like three days and your, your eyes will be open, your mind will be blown and your life will be different because you won't have to be obsessive about it. You won't have to be like you're getting on stage and you need to you know, worry about a can of beans or anything. You'll just know, you'll, you'll have a better relationship with food, right? It's more sustainable because you'll start to balance out good decisions with maybe, you know, more favorable, um, unhealthy foods, but they taste good, right? It, life is about balance. You shouldn't just always eat healthy 100% of the time. That's unrealistic. You should be able to go out for a, a fat, juicy steak if you want to, because you work so hard for it, right? It's about balance. It's not about tracking calories 99% of the time. It's about learning about what you're eating. It's about understanding what to do when certain things aren't going your way. And then establishing that harmony, that, that, that balance between taking care of your health and enjoying your favorite foods. Okay? Enjoy. I hope that helps.